China, what's happening? Earthquake. Middle East. Unstable. Tea and biscuits. Five minutes. <laughs> Hardy. Were those Nelson's famous last words? Famous, my dear, but not his last. What am I going to do with all this junk? Well, I'd insure that for about £10,000. So, Tony, what do you want to know? BBC Online. For information, for education, for fun. Administering justice in an extremely violent way now on BBC Two, a short season of cult Japanese thrillers begins with violent cop. Striking back against deadly gang violence in next week's Japanese thriller here on BBC Two, and like tonight's film, it's also directed by Kitano. Boiling Point is at ten past one. From the land of Genghis Khan. Mongolians are incredibly welcoming people. From one bout of madness to another. Hitler. I think he basically got dictators a bad name. From motor mouth to motor cars. It had something, you know, it was a it was a groover. <laughs> With a top gear rally report at 10.30. That's tomorrow evening's lineup on BBC Two. In the first ever interview on British television with the man who humiliated Kennedy, Fidel Castro reveals his account. We will disappear from the map. It was the biggest crisis of the 20th century and took the world to the edge of nuclear war. He has an opportunity now to move the world back from the abyss of destruction. Cuba, Cold War, next Saturday at 10 past 8 on BBC Two. The weather details now on BBC Two with John Ketley. Hello again. Well, a very quick look down to the Antipodes because down in Brisbane, it looks like the weather's going to stay pretty well settled over the next few days for the first test match. There is an increasing chance of a shower, maybe even a rumble of thunder too. But by and large, it's going to stay fine, sunny and hotter with temperatures up to 27 to 30 degrees during Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Well, closer to home, it's bitterly cold across a large part of continental Europe just now, and it's also very stormy down around the Mediterranean, particularly down the eastern end of the Mediterranean over the past two or three days. And once again, we've seen some wet weather around the Aegean into the western side of Turkey. For example, at Mytilene, one of the Greek islands there, we've seen 108 millimetres during Friday night into Saturday morning. Well, more heavy rainfall further north as well, up around the Black Sea. And I think we're going to see more heavy showers over the next few days. That's how the chart's looking at the moment, dominated by high pressure over those northern parts of Europe, but low pressure down in the south. And also wet and windy weather continue to stream across parts of the British Isles and up across Scandinavia. Now, we can see what's happening over the next five or six days. The high pressure begins to retreat away up into western Russia. It does remain, though, pretty mobile out in the west, and low pressure continues to be sagging around in the Mediterranean too, so you will find more heavy down pours, more thunderstorms mixed in with some reasonably warm sunshine. That's how things are looking by Thursday, for example, a ridge of high pressure coming along between these various weather fronts. Now it's cold as I say at the moment, that's how the temperatures were looking at midday on Saturday, temperatures below freezing in some places. And if we look at the temperature profiles for the next few days, you can see how the blue area becomes pretty extensive and stays extensive for quite a while, although eventually, I think Wednesday, Thursday time next week, it could begin to turn a little bit milder from the west. Well, there is some milder but wet and windy weather around in the British Isles tonight, especially over western and northern parts. A lot of heavy rain has been piling in across Northern Ireland and Scotland, but many of these northwestern parts should become clearer as the night goes along. And the southeastern part there, through the Midlands into southeast England, up towards East Anglia and Lincolnshire, staying pretty cold actually. Quite a raw wind continuing to blow with the, the frostiest weather likely down there to the east of London. In the west, though, with the strong winds, temperatures no lower than 7 to 9 by and large. Now, that's the weather system which is still wriggling its way up country. It is eventually going to become a weaker affair as it comes across England during the second part of Sunday. That's how the rain band is looking, though. Quite active rain, as you can see, across Northern Ireland and Scotland. That rain band continues to track southeastwards very steadily across England and Wales during the next 24 hours. 
and eventually come, say, midnight, tomorrow night, Sunday night into Monday morning. It'll be a much narrower feature by then, but it will be engaging this very cold air in the continent, and so I think there will be a little bit of sleet and snow for the North East Midlands and into Norfolk. That's how things are looking on Sunday morning, then. this wet weather gradually moving southwards across the rest of northern England into the western Midlands through the west country. Much brighter weather following a scattering of showers in the north, but for the rally it looks like we'll see some cloud and rain turning up during the second part of the afternoon. Cold and raw in the east, milder in the western north. Good night. BBC News 24 will keep you up to date on BBC One through the night. Here on BBC Two, BBC Learning Zone begins in 15 minutes.
Thank you.